Welcome to Wild of the World and we're still on a big world trip. The last time you saw me in Asia, in Oman, but now we moved on to Africa. This is Cape Verde. And this is how we came to Africa, all the way from Oman. During our trip on Cape Verde, we'll be staying on two islands. The first one will be Sol, and then we'll head on to Boa Vista. We found a nice little Dutch company that rents some apartments over here, and we'll be staying with them for the coming three weeks. They're called Bobby Was Here. And the first one is inside Porto Antigo, which looks like a cozy little village. So I'm gonna show you the apartment, which is actually more like a whole house because this is the balcony with a fantastic view over the sea and inside we have two living rooms and three bedrooms. As you can see, we're on the perfect location next to the bluest bay in Sol. The town is called Santa Maria. It's the perfect place for a holiday, but you can also see that it's really Africa. We're enjoying the beach in Santa Maria, but of course there's more to explore on the island of Sal. It's only 30 kilometers long, so you can see it in a few days. We rented this four-wheel drive to see the entire island, because there's only one main road and the rest is all dirt roads. Let's go! The first site we're gonna check out is at Bura Kuna in the northwest part of Sol and it's called Olu Azul which means the blue eye. It's basically just a hole in the lava rocks but with the seawater flowing inside it looks like a beautiful underground pool and at noon which is exactly now the light shines in and creates this beautiful blue glow. To see the blue light inside the eye, make sure you're here between 11 and 1. It's a beautiful new day in Sol and we drive towards the middle of the island for the capital Espargus. We're standing on a big hill inside the city to have the most amazing view on Sol and the colored houses of the capital.
and now it's time for one of the biggest attractions of Saal. Sal literally means salt in Portuguese and is named after the two big salt lakes that can be found on the island. Today we drive over to the northeast part to find Salina Pedra de Lume, which means salt lake of the Firestone. And just like the Dead Sea, you can float around here on the salt. So let's take a swim. It's one of the big advantages here on the island. I got an egg here. You don't need any salt. Go on, salty. It's the end of the day and we drive over to Shark Bay and the name says it all. Over on the east side of the island of Sol you can watch sharks. And not just from a distance, they literally swim between your legs. Let's see. How bizarre is this? I can even feel the sharks touching my legs. It's for the daredevils. The next couple of days we stay at another apartment of Bobby was here in Mora Diaz. These blocks are named after their colors, and this one is named Verde, green. We have really come to love the island of Sol. The last one and a half week positively surprised us. And before we move on to the next island of Boa Vista, there's one more thing we'd like to do here. Something that's part of the culture on Sol, and that's kite surfing. This island has even had some world champions. And today we're gonna have a little kite lesson at Kite Beach. And we do this at the kite school of world champion Mitu Montairu, a Cape Verdean legend. What an experience to have as a bonus! We drink an ice cold caipirinha to celebrate and say goodbye to the island of Sol. Keep following us on this world trip and I'll see you soon. <laughs>